Hello, it's me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the latest DeepStream to capture uh, images uh, with annotations in the kitty format. Now, what's nice about this is you can set this up to capture in a 24-hour clock. So you can set it up to capture for an hour in the morning and an hour at night the images that you want from a, a USB stream or uh, a file and it'll it'll take them and parse them and make annotations for you so let me show you what it is what, how we got going here so in the uh, what they've done is the sample apps deep stream transfer learning app by the way whoever made this I need to give them a gold star because this is an awesome little application so you go to here open it up and here's the readme file and uh, it kind of tells you how to set it up and what you need to do and uh, it explains on how to set up your how you want things captured and your annotations and where they're going to be and here's a, a little more description of kind of how it all works and and uh, you know the the description of these items right here but let me kind of show you what this does so it built this we built this go to your config and like here first of all let's just start with your time capture rules so let's go to here now this is the times you're setting up for it to capture so I've set up this is military time so I've set it up for like from 630 628 to like 7 o'clock so if any times this thing runs in within that time frame it'll capture frames like every 19 seconds as long as the stream is running so it does that and then you can have you have five windows here that you can build like for example you could set up in the morning to capture people coming into work and you can set up to run in the evening when people leave to work and you can capture those images and they'll be annotated so you just push OK and here here's where you can do your edit like here's your beginning the time hour minute end time hour minute and then how, how often it skips so, like I said, I've set this up from 6.28 to 7 o'clock. And it goes off military time, so if you get up, see up here, it's like 6.53, so it, we still have plenty of time to run it. So let's close it. And then right here, this is what we're going to run. We're going to run the DS Transfer Learning App Example Text. That's this. And uh, this, all the stuff up here is your normal stuff you guys should be used to. Like if you're going to do a, a, a USB here, or you're going to do an RTSP stream, you do all that, all that right here. And then everything else you guys are normal are used to seeing. And then, but here's where you will do the setup for the output. So there's the output folder that it's going to go into. That's right there. And it saves two ways. It saves the full image and it saves cropped images so right now we're gonna save the full frame and then this is the capture time rules value that's like up here and then the minimum confidence and maximum maximum confidence of what you want captured it's gotta it'll be in there where it captured minimum box width and minimum box height so that's the minimum it's gotta make to be uh, captured so once you set this you basically just go up here run this and uh, it should start running now we're running this this the example one you guys all seen before so it's going to capture while this is running and while we're watching that run let's go to the configuration file so this is the config file like I say here's your uh, uh, your engine your labels the calibration bin so this is what it makes use this to produce the engine now, if you're going to run your uh, Tal Toolkit and you're producing your own uh, uh, engine, th this is where it would all go in here. And then you need to make sure you bring your labels across too, so it'll know what you're looking for and, and what images to capture and annotate. So, let's see, and it's running pretty good. I'm running my Xavier NX. It's running like 30 frames a second, so that's pretty good. So, let's go here. And are we not done yet? Yes, we're done. So once it's done, we go to the output. These are the images we've captured. So it captured these images in the time frame we told it. And then these are the labels that it made. So person, car, car, you know, so that's, that's, that's pretty neat. I mean, it's nice as you can, 
once you kind of build a preliminary capturing, you know, a database, then you can use it just to just to capture more and more and more and more and more, and you can build a very large database just from on like a seed seed uh, planting kind of thing. And then the other thing it does here, so we've got this. We've got our annotations, and we've got our images. And we got metadata here if you want to use that, or JSON if you want to use that. That's there. But I basically just do it for the kitty. And then the other thing that it does, too, is we're going to run it again, but we're going to tell it, um, I want cropped images now. I don't want full frame images. So that's pretty neat. Let's save that. And let's run it again. So let's go back over here. So it's going to run again, and uh, like I say, if you want to, uh, if you want to run, um, this is USB camera. There's an RTSP stream that comes from like uh, an IP camera. Um, all this other stuff, Streamux. This is your tracking device. This is nice now. They give you options to choose the tracking device. I generally do the, um, which one do I do? The accuracy one. I generally do that one. And then your batch processing. And uh, other times you make sure you set your batch sizes up to your uh how many image, how many streams you're going to run, and if you're going to run a live stream, make sure you set your live source like here. So, so now that we're done, we can go back to uh, we go back to cropped images. This is what we got. It's pretty neat. They 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 put images, but they're cropped now. They cropped them out. So person person car car persons car. So and then the what they did is they. The annotations for them are right here. Like there, person, car, car. And that would be person, car, car. So that's how it captures them. So that's pretty neat. So what's nice about this, though, is like you say, you could build a, 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 your model, and then you can use this to just capture more and more and more and more data and just build a larger, larger, and larger data set. So, like I said, whoever did this at NVIDIA, they need a gold star for this because this is a pretty awesome thing. Well, all right. Well, that's it. I hope uh, this helps you guys out. So, you know, good luck with that. Bye.